Good? Are you good? Mm -hmm. Oh, girl, I'll okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Go back down, okay. We have a lot of hares, snowshoe hares that have been coming through the property. They've been making lots of tracks. And there's a lot of them of varying sizes. And one thing we've also seen is some lynx tracks that have been following them. Okay, so Liliana has found Link some scat. Poop. Some scat, yeah. Link poop. That is. Link poop. Oh. It's frozen. Yeah, that so was So it's gross. older. I know. Well, so you can see the lynx tracks right here. Can Let me come around from the other side so you can kind of see them. Can I? Oh, there's another one right here. It pooped twice. Ooh, can I see? So. So you can see the wide pad. That, that's no our track. Claws. That's our track. You're oh, gonna, yeah. So you, you want to go see it? <laughs> so I don't know where the crack went from here. Well, it probably followed our. Yeah, probably follow ours. It'll follow our path, so it's not making any. Can I cover the poop? If you want, yeah. Can I cover the poop? Sure. It's right here. It goes through right here. Oh, yeah, I can see. Okay, yeah. So it's uh, coming through right here, and then it gets onto our trail, follow, and starts following the rabbit trail. Okay. So it's hunting. So there's there's a lynx. One. I don't know if they're solitary or not. There's two poops. It might have just had to poop twice. Yeah. It's pretty cool, but we are. Uh, we have chickens. <laughs> we do have chickens, and uh, it sucks and when they get taken out by something. Uh, another another channel, Laid Back Living, just had uh, all their chickens, all their chickens and rooster got massacred by, uh, they think it was a lynx too, I, I believe. I'm not sure, that's for them to decide, but uh, I'll go ahead and put a card up here in the corner so you can uh, head over to their channel in another window and watch that video. They're not punching through the thin crust of ice Plus, there's no claw tips in the in the print. 
dogs and canines have a claw that's always extended so you'll see that in their track whereas cats retract their claws when they're walking and all you'll see in the track is a pad you won't see any claws and no claw tips in the uh, in the snow the scat that we found that liliana found is uh definitely cat and not dog Some more uh, hair tracks. Like, like I said, we have dozens of snowshoe hair tracks every day. So Liliana and I are probably going to start trapping in the spring. And uh, the cool thing is that I like to think I'm a pretty good leather worker. So we're going to start making stuff out of uh, rabbit fur. Because I think that sounds fun. Make some gloves for ourselves. This is our cranberry or low bush cranberry. It's more like lingonberries. Lingonberry bog over here. We get a lot of lingonberries and uh, blueberries out of here. We didn't find anything, so we'll head back in. Okay. I have these Sorel boots. They came apart. And this is the first season that I've worn them. So I want to take them back if I can, but I'm not sure if I can because I bought them like four or five years ago. But this is the first season I've actually worn them. What I am going to do is I'm going to just take some of this Gorilla Tape and I am going to tape them up because I still want to use them. Because I don't want to spend another couple hundred bucks We're going to cover this bit. It's not going to really work for like extreme cold. My toes did get really cold when it was negative 20 out, but for a walk in 30 degree weather, these should still be fine. And it's not, I can't tell why they fail, just that they did. But it's, both of them failed in the same spot. It looks like the stitching just kind of came apart or punched through or something. The Gorilla Tape is strong enough. It's one of the strongest things I can find, so I'm gonna put that on there and hope it doesn't come off. I used to use Gaffer's Tape for everything, but uh, I ran out. It snowed last night and this morning, so we are going to see if there's any fresh tracks as far as the links goes. See if we can find tracks from this morning. They'll probably be slightly covered. It snowed about an inch or two, I think. And I'm trying to catch up with the girls as always. I found what appears to be remnants of the lynx tracks here. Probably from early this morning before the sun came up all the way. Lynx are kind of a medium to smaller size cat. I believe it's the Canadian lynx. I think their color scheme changes for winter. 
to more of a lighter tone. Uh, the snowshoe hair, however, well, I wouldn't be able to see them right now. They're they're as white as the snow. They turn white. Their hair, their fur turns white with the onset of the winter season. Normally, they have the brown type color of fur. The only way I'd be able to see one out here right now is if I saw its eyes. My vision's not good enough anymore for that. Seeing some older moose tracks, and it looks like some of the snowshoe hair are pretty big. 